I figured this was a great opportunity. It gave me a chance to make a crazy costume. And also it's like, I mean, how many people can say that they've been a mermaid in a parade? This weekend marks the official start of summer. And for the past 27 years, the Mermaid Parade in Coney Island has been the big event to kick off the season. This year's parade attracted hundreds of marchers, thousands of visitors, and dozens of volunteers, many from around the world. I've been here since just after 9 o'clock, and I'm all the way from Canada. I came to help out. <laughs> the Mermaid Parade is organized by Coney Island USA, a nonprofit group that operates the Coney Island Museum and various public events at this historic Brooklyn neighborhood. Because it helps raise funds for Coney Island, which is an important landmark to Brooklyn, and especially New York. There were dazzling costumes and colorful floats on display. Not to mention lovely mermaids. This year, the parade's King Neptune and Queen Mermaid were actor Harvey Keitel and his wife, Daphne Kastner. And with people comes business, bringing a much needed boost to the area. Came in the rain. Because A, I'm a guy, mermaids, you know, of course. And second of all, you know, I'm all pro, preserving Coney Island, expanding, you know, expanding and not shrinking it. It's been around for 100 years, why not shouldn't be around for 100 more? The Mermaid Parade has particular significance this year as Coney Island finds itself at an economic crossroads. Several acres of land were purchased by Thor Equities, a development company that plans on building a new amusement park in the area. Thor has also created an open vendors market whose viability is still to be determined. In addition, the Department of City Planning, in partnership with the Economic Development Corporation, Parks Department, and Housing and Preservation and Development, have a comprehensive plan to revitalize and rezone the area. This comprehensive plan includes creating a 27-acre amusement district that the city feels will re-establish Coney Island as a year-round destination. But it's the rezoning plan that has many concerned. Safe Coney Island is a local activist group. Uh, it's made up of uh, people who, who love Coney Island, who work in Coney Island, uh, uh, who work in Coney Island. And uh, we're trying to get the city to change its plan. Uh, the city has proposed shrinking the amusement area to this narrow little strip where you could hardly fit any amusements and then blocking it off with these 27-story high-rises. And uh, it would be a shame, a, a huge loss of the great potential of Coney Island. Both have their arguments, but our job in government is to move Coney Island into the 21st century and make it once again become the America's playground, as it was when I was a boy and as it will be again. So there'll be a balance between some development and amusements, and that's the way it should be. While the neighborhood's much-needed economic development appears to be at odds with maintaining the unique character of Coney Island, there are still dozens of rides, including the world-famous Cyclone roller coaster, intact. And as for those mermaids, what's the experience like for them? Feely, but it was all okay, and I can't wait for next year, and I want to go buy a t-shirt. <laughs> it was amazing. This is Oli Gittins reporting.